Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am your one of the loves, Fontaman, and welcome back to World of Warplanes. Now, when we last left off, we had begun our grind proper for the Yak-9U. The fully upgraded Yak-9 is actually quite a well-performing plane, but let's have a look-see where our progress is. We need 51,000 XP in order to research the Tier 7 Yak-9U. Now, some of you Eagle Eye viewers may notice that that's slightly less than when I left off last time, wasn't it? And, Fonto, you have gold up there. Well, well what's going on with this gold? As it, it, things are going on with this gold, and they're not plane-related things. So I'm going to tell you. Might take a couple of weeks for that other thing to come to fruition. But, uh, enough of that right now. We have planes to grind. So, we've got a bit of a grind ahead of us in order to get to the Yak-9U, which, admittedly, doesn't look like the most amazing upgrade in the world. It's, like I said, basically the same plane. It's more or less fully upgraded from the Yak-9. It's, what I'm trying to say is, it's a fully upgraded Yak-9, but it's stock. Unfortunately, we also have to go through the problem of there are two 20mm cannons, well, a 23mm cannon. But there are two guns that are not the 37 or the 45 in front of the 37 or the 45. Eh, that's gonna cause some problems. We had some teething issues with the Yak-9, but as we saw, as soon as we picked up the cannons, things just came alive like magic. And look, we even carry over one engine. Amazing. But, well... This is not the most amazingly uh, difficult grind in the world, it's just going to take a while. Getting to tier 8 from tier 7, though, with 100,000... 110,000 to uh, get to the next rank for the SU-9? That, that might actually take us a little bit, but we'll see what happens when we get up there. For now, let's get back to it. You are approaching the area of combat operations. Be ready. Okay. First battle today, Scorching Sands. Dual military base setup. Ah, uh, not exactly the most conducive thing to fighter combat, but well, we'll see how we get along. Because remember, the air bases, or rather the military bases and the mining outposts no longer have escort or rather defense fighters. So, um... I can't do anything to them, aside from poke at the light, unarmored ground targets. But, well, the 45 can actually damage the armored ones. Show me what you can do, pilot. It's probably not Let's effective, roll. though. Or rather, probably not as effective as it could be. But we are a multi-role fighter, and 45mm cannon is uh, um, effective in all roles. I am assured by logic. Sound Soviet logic. Yes, yes. The bigger a gun is, the more effective it is going to be. Uh, uh. Except at hitting boomerangs, because that seems like we're having a bit of an issue today. Turn! Okay, dead. Who's this? KI-88? Japanese Era Cobra? Get out of my base! Uh, 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 uh. Done. Okay, so now, well, now we got a bunch of fighters running around here. Above us. Don't look like any of them are gonna bother us, so we're gonna pick up the... or attempt to pick up the BF-110 before anything horrible goes wrong. And he is dead. Boom. Uh -oh. That's a bot, but we've also got multiple things coming in on us from all fucking angles! Get back here. Son of a bitch. You'll have to stall eventually, capitalist plane! Well, I got you at the top of your climb. Unfortunately, I now have stalled. Uh... That's a player! Ah! Ow! Yeah, I'm not going to hit anything, and I'm actually out of teammates now. This is unfortunate. And... Uh, oh no, my accuracy! It looks like people have left me alone, though. But uh, the escort fighters are probably going to come in and poke me to death, though. Ow, 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 ow. Well, 
There's that thing. That Racer 109. A 209. See, he's just a 109, but the cockpit is set farther back. Plus a couple of other modifications, I'm sure. However, as we were fighting for the middle, it seems like our team fucked off. They captured one of the military bases, but uh, we then lost the garrison because I was the only one there. We are losing the military base. There are too many enemy aircraft. And it would seem that we can't even hold the military base. Great. Uh, uh, too high. Oh, there's a hit. Our military base is launching strikes on the enemy. This will make things easier for you. Uh, come on, you son of a bitch. Did that guy just fire rockets at me? I believe I just saw that. Oh, we're gonna do this now. Oh, boy. There's someone behind me. Or right in front of me. Hello, Boomerang. But for right now, I'm gonna zip out of here just in case there's somebody behind me. There isn't, but we did actually manage to capture the base. How about that? All right, so... AI. Remove fascist book. Get back here, fascist blade. Okay, so... Boomerang. Closing. Turning. Hello! Whoa! Hey, look at that, a one-shot. Now we gotta very delicately leave this entire area before someone comes to kill us. That was a long-range kill. You see, it seems to get more dependent on actual accuracy the longer away it is. Or rather, the farther away it is. The farther the shot, the more the hitbox- the more the actual hitbox needs to line up. Because when we get a closer range, it seems like the actual area- Uh, you know, the hit area. The- the- the, the gun gets more forgiving as we get closer to the target, is what I'm trying to say. To the point where we can make high-angle deflection shots and still actually hit the fucking target. Even though we logically should have completely missed it. Hello! Hi! Just, uh, cleaning up shop here. The enemy is launching rocket strikes on our complex. Oh, hello. To neutralize the enemy military base. I think we need to remove the Sturmovic first. The fighters are bots. They're threatening, but I think the Sturmovic player is the most threatening thing here right now. And he is gone. As is the military base, but we can't really do much about that. ki is coming back again. Let's see if we can poke him on the nose. Hello, sir. Eh. Eh. Ah! <laughs> flying Guardian Badge. I think it's flying a couple of other things as well. Flying weapon of mass destruction, flying battering ram, flying hero of Soviet Union. Many things. Many, many things. Did I get that kill? No, I didn't get the boomerang, but, uh, oh. Bow fighter. Bow fighter! Ow. And then there's that fucking Corsair again. Oh well. We got winged legend, which means we're up 14,000 points. Where are we specifically up to here? We're losing slightly, but yeah, 14,000 points. Uh, yeah, we're wrecking face here. We're not winning, but I'm Receiving doing a damn good job trying to keep the center point under control. Will be unable to read you. Do you read me? Over. We're down, but we're not out yet. Squall line's coming in, though, so we gotta be careful now. We do have control of the military base, though, and it doesn't look like the enemy is terribly... well... Doesn't look like I'm focusing on that, though. I do see that ground attack plane warming into the zone. They've almost got us. So what I'm gonna do- it's a player, too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly over here and make sure no accidents happen. It is not election rigging. It is merely making sure that the true party That's always it. wins. There's no way to break through for you now. You're on your own. I'd like to kill him, please. Okay, up. 
over. Unfortunately, I did not kill him. The AA got him. Okay. So, if we can keep control of the military base, we may be able to actually maybe do something here. Maybe. I am not sure, though. This is a very dicey situation. Okay, so what do we got here? Bunch of planes flying around. This guy, need to kill this guy. He's gonna try and take the base. We have to stop him. Son of a... Oh, there's a hit. Hey, got him. Okay, that's good enough. And we do have the center point, but not good enough. Get at me, people fighter! Yeah! Yes! You've done what you could. Go back to base. <laughs> I mispronounce your name as a, an attempt to goad you. Also, 19,000 combat. New record. <laughs> I did kill that guy, though. <laughs> All right, so. um, Not my fault, said the Yak-9. Definitely not my fault. I was doing everything a single player could do. Uh, actually, more so. Probably, actually, looking at the score... I am worth basically double the next player on my team in terms of combat score. Goodness gracious me. Yeah, I think I carried there. Tried to, didn't win. But, uh, oh well. It's on record now. You see, you see my actions, they will be recorded no matter the, no matter the outcome. <laughs> It's kind of a shame that we, well, only get 2,000 experience points for that, even though, um... 19,000 is actually really, 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 really high. As for my scores, at least. I haven't seen somebody break 20,000 yet, but that's the closest I've gotten myself. I'm sure it's very easy to do, or rather, much easier to do at lower tiers if you're, like, min-max specking. Like, if you've got a certain tier 1 or tier 1 to 3 plane that can pump out a lot of damage, like the Jet I-15 is really good because I shacks. And apparently there's a there's a ground attack I-15 at tier 2 that has Shakaz. That apparently is the seal clubbiest thing ever. Unfortunately, you can't get that, but I think it shows up as an air defense fighter? At that tier? I'm not sure, though, but I have heard mention of this thing being destructive. However, uh... At tier 6, this kind of shit is going to be harder to do. And actually, looking at the the actual roster here, that was mostly players. So as you can see here, pretty obviously, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 out of 15 players. More than half players. What happened? I, I, like, I killed even more people than I usually do when it's all bots. So, um, it's actually kind of funny, but it looks like the game gets easier when there are players versus bots. You may not be able to win the game, but you can totally ruin people's days. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but enough bragging by me, I suppose. So... That was a good first game, and there's probably going to be more like it to come. Much, much more games like that to come. But first I want to have a bit of a shout out here to Very Angry Beaver and Mallet1492. Because uh, they went the extra mile of, in fact, feeding my ego by sending me messages in-game so I see them when I log in. A couple of other people have done this as well. If you feel like it do so. Nice words always help. They offset the bad ones, at least. So, it may not do very much. I mean, you know, it may not be the most amazing thing you could do for me ever, but, you know, it's still worth something. So if you feel like, please do that. I'm not going to stop you. And also, I'd like to point out, or rather, I'd like to also give a shout out to a person I cannot remember right now, who sent me seven days of premium time. I have not actually picked that up yet because, well, I actually wanted to grind this out honestly. And I think that's the, the kind of intention that I wanted to do for the entire series. However, that might take a while. 
So um, I may employ premium time at a later date. However, what I will say is you can send me nice words all day long. However, please try and restrain yourself when sending me things that actually cost money. I'm not going to say don't, but really think about it. Be responsible about it. That's not saying I don't want your free shit, but come on now, be a little bit more controlling, or rather, you know, responsible with your own money. I know you guys like me, but the moment money starts coming into things, that's when things get a little weird. Aside from YouTube, though, this is leading down, leading me down several interesting avenues. But, enough rambling by me. So, let's get back into the grind here. Let's see if we can find even more good games. It'll help the grind go faster, that's for sure. And you know, if you really feel the need to throw your money at me, you could always donate to my Patreon too. Okay, Shockwave. This is... Attention, you hmm. are entering the zone controlled by the enemy. A command center offset by a mining plant. Um... This... Mm, this seems like long odds. We gotta get that mining plant, though. But we have the command center here. Unfortunately, as a fighter, I can't really do anything to help out the command center capturing thing. I can I can do the other two bases, but um, pilots, get I ready can't for control action. the outcome Let's like go. this. But I suppose this means that oh wait, rather the command center does actually have air defense. I thought they removed that. Hmm. The mining facility definitely doesn't have any air. I know any. Uh, any air cover at all. This much I know, but uh, apparently, I was wrong. Well, that ain't no. Whoop! Mouse bugged out there. Ha ha! Hmm. Dice did not cooperate with me on that one, though. Nor that one. Excuse me, that's my boomerang kill. Oh, fiddlesticks. Anyone knock over an AA gun? Anybody? Quack, quack. Quack? They're bots, but they're ducks, so... Quack! Alright, well, he got that one. Okay, so, there's that. What we should probably go do next, as a not-suicidal maneuver, is go towards the garrison. I could go poke at the mining facility, but catch-22 here. If I go over there, I may inadvertently feed the enemy's capture rate by dying over there if I go there alone. However, if I go over there and actually win the engagement, there may not be enough enemies there in order for me to actually quickly capture the point. So, I will accomplish actually nothing. So, best to stay away and probably just be safe here and take, well, attainable territory because there is likely fighters here. However, it doesn't seem like they've actually captured the base. There were enemy planes here, but they have seemed to have gone. Oh, there's one. Uh, come on, boomerang. Here's the egg. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Well, here's what I think of your acquisition. Uh oh those are bots. But the Corsair is dead, so no big deal. Okay, that's him. I am taking control of this airspace. There's another plane coming at me. Uh, excuse me. That is a player. So, uh, we're gonna just jam. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Done. Instant turnover. They still have not captured the mining facility. Good. Good. That means they're going to lose because they're stupid. 
Seriously, you have a mining facility? You go capture that thing, because that will secure damn near instant victory if you take it and hold it. This should be a no-brainer from people who are playing this game. However, it seems like, well, the player numbers are slowly increasing. There are new people coming in. And... Well, as we get higher, we're gonna see the more and more, more and more determined people that may have actually picked up on some things. However, saying that tier 10 always gives you the most skilled players in the game is um, not entirely accurate, as seen by World of Tanks in some instances. However, what you're going to have is either, well, the richest or the most determined. Determined does not equal skill, however. Or also bots. They could also be bots. We're going to actually fight bots in this game. So, there will, in fact, be bots at Tier 10. Guaranteed. We've taken over the forward airfield. Nice work. Okay, so, airfield's taken. We have a couple of stragglers here. We lost the garrison while we were taking this, unfortunately, but we can clean up here. I'm unsure if this man is a bot, or just actually a, well, a smart player. Rather, seemingly smart player. The rolling... The rolling, though. Will you stop making him roll around so I can actually hit him with my very large gun? As soon as he stops rolling... Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> that wasn't even close to him, though. Once again, magic... Magical... A trajectory altering Russian 45 millimeter high explosive shells. Do not crash into the bowfighter! I can't hit him with the gun! There it is. Oh, hello. Hmm. Well, that's our control point. This, 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 no. 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 The last thing I'm gonna let get away is a Japanese plane in a close, close range combat. Or close range engagement. It's not gonna happen. The Spitfire is also disturbing. However, these two are players. Hey, Hi, guys! There. You'll soon be cut off from support. I you having fun here? Dogfighting for this point here? Yeah, that's great. Click. Get the fuck back here! Uh oh. Yeah, no way I'm getting out of that. Not enough speed and not enough maneuverability to dodge out of the way of, well, a Focke Wolf running right towards me. The Focke Wolf, the, the Focke Wolves are actually fairly well armed. However, their line leads to a rocket spitting twin seat jet. You any which is funny, is but also kind of Do questionable. Copy? Over. That's one of the other interesting special snowflake aircraft I'm, I want to get. Because it just seems hilarious, because you have... I think it's 75 rockets? You have, um... Whatchamacallit, you have the, uh... No, it's 56, Please and go. I think an Victory additional 8. Close. Because you have the Nurbelwarfer shells that were converted to rockets, you carry four of those under the wings? That's what the... That's what some Focke Wolves and... BF-110s and 410s carried for ground attack, because... This is what the Germans came up with in a pinch. And also you have the... I forget what they're called. But they're... Small... Rockets that fire in large clusters that were designed to be used against bomber formations to make them break and run around screaming. You get a lot of those. The 262 actually employed those. But you get 56 of those. Which is funny as all hell. So, if there are comedy aircraft, 
that one is probably one of them, along with things like the Flapjack, just for its design, and also the Starfire with the Vulcan. Which, again, another plane I'm slightly interested in. However, I look at that, and then I look past it, and I see that the, the Corsair is the Tier 10 for that line. Corsair is an interesting aircraft, however, it's, you know, kind of less amazing than a, you know, a Starfire with a minigun. And also, the, the Corsair, while it's visually interesting and special snowflake, it also wasn't a very good plane and had a reputation as a pilot killer. So, um, not sure how good it is in the game, though. But, due to my lollygagging, we, sh we're, we were short for, well, we short for getting the 14,000 medal. Shit. But oh well, at least we won. And, um, yeah, even though I was mouthing off like a moron for about 70, like, the last closing 75% of that match, or rather, the last closing 25% of that match, I still managed to get top score. Haha. <laughs> See, I don't know, this game just is in tune and harmony with me sometimes. Okay, so now that we have a massive amount of, well, medals for our chest again, we actually got 4,000 experience because that was, in fact, our double. Fantastic! Making tracks. So, where are we? Hmm. Also, I'm noticing the obnoxious motion blur on that seagull. That needs to be toned down. Just saying. That, the seagull looks like it's phasing through reality every time it flies by. But let's see here. So, we have 44,000 to go, which is actually somewhere around where we left off with the last episode. So, um, haha. <laughs> minor change there but oh well it's just free experience so we've got a bit of a trudge here but we're making progress it's gonna be a, a bit of a long grind but as you can see the yak 9 ex it causes everything it comes near to violently explode so yeah it takes a while but it's probably the least difficult grind you're ever gonna have i mean the only thing that makes it better is if they just shorten the grind altogether which well then that then their business model falls apart but it doesn't seem like that bad of a grind, to be honest. And, well, the game being fun and entertaining also kind of just makes the grind not that big of a deal. We'll see how that is once we get up to tier 8 to tier 10, though, because that's when the numbers just kind of get gratuitous. But, anyway, back into the queue. Hmm. Preventative measures. Asian border. All right, so... Control. Well, this is the command center variant. So, airship garrison, airship garrison, enemy. command center. Simple enough. We're gonna go take the garrison and probably the airstrip because it's just right in front of there. And then we're gonna turn in and try and take the command center. And we're gonna try to do it at an incredibly fast pace because, well, the enemy may just blunder right in towards the command center and try and capture it. But, well, hopefully we can catch them off guard. And by the time they do that, hopefully they've neglected to capture their garrison and you their airfield. The front line. Off we go. You see, this is very much an action game in the, in the sequence that people who can do the same actions faster will likely win. But, well, let's see if we can actually pull that off today. Oh, uh, excuse me. What the fuck was that? Is that AA? It just hit me for five the seconds and my pilot died. The and I am no longer in the commands in the command point, so we're gonna actually wait a second. Wait, wait, I can't fucking hit him anyway, so it doesn't matter. He's flying outside the command center, so I'm not gonna get points for killing him. Get the fuck- well, there he is. Alright then, good. Also, problem, pilot just instantaneously knocked the fuck out by AA, it looks like. Yeah, they buffed AA in this patch! So, um... It kind of hurts now. Actually, really fucking hurts. So, AA suppression is actually a very important job for ground attack players or anyone flying low to the deck. Unfortunately, it looks like the enemy team has attempted to pull one over on us and has captured our airfield. Why? I do not know, because they have also neglected their garrison, which they have only captured right now, and their own airfield. 
And also, not made very much progress in the center as well. So we can actually duck in there. Because that's gonna be locked for six seconds, so we might as well kind of sneak over here and try and poke a hole in somebody. Um, I can't see if that's a bot or not, but Ward seems like he wants to kill me. Okay, I Mustang. We'll do this. Also, we have taken the command center. Fantastic. I'm trying to figure out if we can get him to stop rolling. If there's a like a cooldown for being shot at or having someone behind you. And I'm on fire. Dark! Fire! Bad! Bad fire! Also, my gun is now overheated. Probably has something to do with the fire. Okay, fine. Fuck him. He's dead. I have one hit point left. One! One single hit point left. I'd like to leave this place, please. I'd like to go. I'd like to not be shot by anything, and I would like to leave this place so that I can repair my fighter. Okay, there's the repair. 11, 17, 22, 27, 33, okay, we're good. Remember, folks, the only hit point that matters is the last one, as exemplified by, well, the Yak-9. And oh look, it's another Yak-9. Excuse me while I kill him, so that he does not cause any problems. I know my own bullshit, I know how threatening I am. So given the choice, I would in fact kill myself if I was inhibiting my own plans. At risk. Trust no one, not even yourself. I am poking you! Have the good sense to die! D he's in the sun! There it is. Just put a shell right through the back of the fuselage, and we're okay. So, um... We do still technically have majority of the points here, just not exactly the majority I was expecting. Now... It seems as though the bomber formation has gotten through the enemy formation, rather the enemy lines, Basically undamaged. So that's actually gonna be very good for us. What is that? That's something flying at very high altitude. It is a Spitfire. It does not notice us. Good. So we're gonna roll over here and see exactly what kind of... Yeah, those bombers are just kind of just absolutely wrecking the house. And there they go. Good on you, Command Center. You actually did your job. The bombers are actually very easy to intercept and actually make kind of redundant if you're paying attention and flying at high altitude. However, if they do get through, they do basically flatten a base. Ow! What the fuck was that? I don't know what that was. Apparently, I, I don't know. I got the splinter inside the cockpit. Ow. Okay, so. IL-8 flying around at low level, attempting to disrupt our control of the command center. This will not do. However, unfortunately, I cannot hit Because I managed to get reduced to a single hit point, yet I still have not died. JU-88. Oh boy, someone's flying a coffin. That's another entertaining aircraft in this game, I see. Just because it, well, it's the ground attack JU-88. It's just a really big plane that has a 50 millimeter cannon on the front of it. Excuse me, coming through. It's, it seems like an interesting aircraft to fly. However, it just looks like a very large coffin because it can't really defend itself. Because it's so big and so easy to hit. Okay, we need to keep control of this, which means we need to keep poking people. Receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. Support will be unable to reach you. Do you read me? Over. And that is the squall line. Air supremacy achieved. However, we have now have control over all of the points. Probably Keep has something up. to do with the Victory bombers. Almost and we lost the command center. Bombers How? I just killed that guy. Immediately. 
Seems like this P-38 is at a fucking nose dive towards me. Doesn't matter if I die now because the squall line's coming. Ten, nine. I want to kill this guy. Eight, eight. Son of a. Ah. Uh, get at me. That's it. Ow. No way to break the oh, down. Shit. You're on your own. Roll. Roll, descend. Roll, roll. Excuse me. Excuse me. That is my teammate. God damn it. I'm going to die here because I'm now on fire, but, um, our... We're already got an insurmountable lead here, so it doesn't really matter. And also, once again, Squall Line fucking me over. The Squall Line mechanic needs to be looked at because that's just really unfair. Like, I was alive and I was doing perfectly well for the entire game. And then the Squall Line comes in and I die the first time, finally succumbing to the damage that I can and not actually repair enough to guarantee me survival in, 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 in the engagements that I'm coming up against. And I am forced to sit out the entire game. It's just punishing me for being good. Yeah, the game has to end at some point, but at this point, it's just penalizing me for being an effective player. Victory is ours. But we won anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Not the best game ever, but oh well. We could have done better, but kind of honestly, I just kind of, the targets weren't coming towards me, I suppose. Just kind of flying around aimlessly, not really shooting at anything the entire game. But oh well, still won anyway. Okay, so, hmm. we're completing the missions here, which, do they do anything? It's like, control surface adjustments, that's what we get. That is... Uh, not really the biggest priority for me, but we seem to be able to actually finish, finish that mission just fine. So, where are we right now? 42,000, yes, yes, okay. Okay, so, back in.